hello everyone welcome back to my channel as you guys already know in this channel we only talk about top and trending technologies and in 2025 ai is one of the most trending tech these days along with ai there comes other thing as well and one of them is any so we are going to discuss any today in this video so before i start let's check the video overview first at what we are going to cover today in this video First, we will start with what any is. Then we will compare any with other automations tool. After that, we will discuss some real world use cases. And then we will create our first ever workflow in any for absolutely free. So before I start with what any actually is, let me clear you a few things. First is that creating workflow in automation doesn't require any coding or programming experience. You don't need to be a coder or programmer even a 12 or a 14 year old child can easily create automation in the any second thing is using any is absolutely free we can create workflows in any for free at the end of this video i'll show you that how we can do that so watch the video till the end now let me erase this out a bit and let's see what any is Let's scroll this page up a bit okay so any is basically a node based workflow automation yes guys a node based workflow automation and every step of automation is represented as a node now let's see this with the help of this diagram where uh, you can see there are three nodes node 1 node 2 and node 3 so node 1 is represented as a google sheet node 2 is telegram and node 3 other so let's say a gmail node or maybe a slack node so these are nodes which have a particular blog like consider this as a blog which have a certain task so task for node 1 is google sheet task for node 2 is telegram and task for node 3 is gmail now workflow is when each and every particular node is connected with each other so say our node 1 is connected to node 2 and node 2 is connected to node 3 then this particular thing is called as a workflow and when these nodes execute in a synchronized order say this is step 1 or step 2 and step 3 then this particular things form a automation so say whenever this workflow trigger say uh, like for google sheets if there is some criteria which match in the google sheet then this workflow will be executed and what will happen when this particular workflow execute it will send me a message on my telegram and if my other node is a gmail one then it will send me a mail or if it is whatsapp then it will send me a message in whatsapp so this is what a workflow is we have different node we have different step we have different tools connected with each node which creates a workflow and when this works executed this create automation now if i talk about why any is special because it provides us more than 300 tools like some i already discussed like telegram whatsapp gmail slack or similar to this is Airtable, some database the api of other tools which we can connect into the anytime now why use anytime yes guys there are other automations tool as well like zapier or make.com but why anytime we have to use if i talk about zapier then zapier is quick and simple but it become expensive if our workflow is a bit complex so say if i have a very complex workflow which i created with the zapier then it will become more expensive too same goes with the make.com like it's more flexible as compared to the zapier but again it has an issue with the pricing model so again if you have a complex workflow in the make.com then it will also become expensive but if i talk about any time then first thing in any time is we can host this into our server so when this is hosted in our server we can create unlimited workflows using anytime now 
N810 comes with advanced support for loops. Even we can write our custom JavaScript code as well. Now we already host all of our workflows into our own server. Then it provides us the full control for my workflow and full control to my data. So this is why using any tent is a bit easy and more useful. It also comes with a simple drag and drop feature. That's the reason why even a 10 or a 12 or anyone without any technical background can easily create automation in any time now before creating automation or workflow in any time let's discuss some real world use cases so say you are an educator or some tutor then you can create a workflow which automatically sends your class updates to the students over social media or any social platform say whatsapp or telegram or facebook or maybe via gmail so this particular automation you can create if you are a marketer or a creator then you can create or write a particular blog host that into linkedin or maybe some other tool like cura or if you create a video then you can post that into the youtube directly now let's discuss one workflow example which is helpful for analyst that say you uh, analyst fetch the record from different sources so this can be automated in such a way that fetching the data from different sources say s1 s2 and s3 analyze this data and convert it into a single csv file so this particular workflow is very helpful even this further we can automate in such a way that send this csv file to me via gmail or whatsapp this is a further node added to this particular workflow like my first node is fetching the data from these different sources then create a single csv file and then send this over my gmail or whatsapp or maybe upload that to drive now once this is done I can automate this or revalidate this for once in a week or once in a 15 days or maybe once in a month. So this particular workflow with all these nodes is very useful for analysts. Now this is what like a, I can say a theory part for this video. Now we will head towards creating the first N10 workflow. So this workflow, what we will do, we will ask user to input the email ID and we will send the mail to this particular ID. This automation we are going to create within a few minutes. So let's go to the Anytime dashboard. This is the Anytime dashboard you can see and here at top you can see create workflow. And you click on this, it loads as a blank now few things i need for this workflow that a trigger node then ai agent and a gmail node let's add them one by one into my workflow so first step is adding the trigger node so say i can go do add this as a whatsapp or a telegram but today I am just going to add this as on chat message so when you add this on chat message you can see there is one chat console from where I can just type in any message when I type in you can see this particular node got executed now next I am going to add one AI agent so clicking on the plus symbol then clicking on AI and here I can add the AI agent for this AI agent the prompt is user message like whatever the prompt I pass that will be used for this particular node as an input so here you can see it is already connected that's why it is already coming as a JSON chat input now going back now I'm going to add one chat model clicking on this I can select any chat model for today I am going to use open AI chat model 
in this if you have your api key for your open ai account then you can go to create new credential and add that api key over here or if you are new and if your 14 days free, free trial is working then you can use anytime free open ai credits which i have used for this particular workflow from mode the drop down i can select any chat model so let's keep it gpt41 mini only now back to canvas now i am adding one gmail here. so searching here for the gmail gmail node is added and action i am going to perform is send a message when i click on this back to canvas this is connected now let's say double click gmail account this i have already configured one for this workflow or you can do a fresh account sign up so this is how you can do either with this oauth2 or service account or just simply sign in with google and anytime will take care for rest of the things now source is message operation i am going to use is send node for two i'll be using a chat model so say if i pass test at the rate gmail.com then you can see problem running the workflow because for send message i um, didn't put these particular values so let's say subject first let me put the subject so my subject is first and it and workflow uh, email type is text here i can type the message hey i just created my first and it have workflow come join with us in this setting i have keep this note as empty as of now just to show you something so let's say back to canvas if I disconnect this and try to execute this node again with this same value, you can see all these nodes executed. But for this, I have an issue that wire me up. It needs this two information, like to whom we have to send the mail. So for this input, let's just go parameter to required. Here, if I type in, so let's say. I have this test email which I am going to use. Copy this, pasting it over here. Going back now, if I say send hi, then all the okay, this is not connected yet. Okay, so if I send hi, then all these nodes will be executed, and you can see. I got one mail over here. Maybe currently, yeah. Now you can see it's being loaded up. Now the issue with this workflow is that I haven't passed like I didn't the mail will only be sent to the email ID which I have put over here too. But what if I don't want to put all uh, if I don't want to send the email to this ID, then what will happen? I need to make this dynamic for to do so. When chat message received, I'll drag and drop this as a chat input. So now what will happen? Whatever the email ID I passed over here, then it will send the email to this particular node. You can see all, uh, let me change the subject line here. Dynamic and it and workflow rest of the let's keep rest of the things same it's back to canvas now again i am going to send a mail so let's copy this and paste it this time i instead of high message i'm going to paste the email clicking on this all these notes getting executed now let's see what's the mail i received okay so i received another mail with for which the subject line is dynamic and it and workflow that means this time the gmail node took this particular email id which i pasted in the chat window so you see how simple and how easy it is to create a workflow in any time in my upcoming videos i'll be creating 
complex workflows which will help you to perform daily tasks. I'll be connecting Google Sheets, Drive, or I'll be creating workflow which will automatically post the content on LinkedIn. So subscribe the channel, comment for any questions if you are having any doubt. Thanks for watching.